Honestly, racing at Monza, I just never know what to expect, but what a privilege to race against really fast drivers. You know what time it is? We're here at Monza, Daily Race C. This lobby is just absolutely mad. We're starting P8, it's a 12 lap race. And um, we've really got to up our game to compete here. We've got the Stig ahead of us. We're in a Norwegian sandwich. Three Norwegian drivers I can see on the radar. It's just Norwegians and Brits. Love it. But uh, this is going to be very, very, very difficult. So um, get ready for this. We're going to have to drive some absolute limit. We're going to have to risk track limit penalties here. It's an absolute mad lad who's turned up in the Pennzoil. That's Lucy. Let's see how she does. Right, here we go. Well, one second with you already, but that wasn't great from us. I think got to remember that the car's a bit heavier at the beginning. Need to keep up with the stick here. Oh, big moment for the Nissan. We are keeping up with the stick. This is good. And uh, I've worked out Ascari a little bit better. We're going to cut the last bit quite significantly. Let's see if that works out for us. Here we go. cut this bit like that just don't need to get anywhere near that gravel on the outside whoa penalties galore the stick won't take it this lap lucy will and there was a driver up there that did as well so we are up into p7 in this split mm, not gonna go for it so the stick is going to take a half second penalty come what way it may at the end of this lap. I don't know if that's going to affect how they drive. I think we're still going to... No, we will try and overtake her, actually. We'll try and go for the move. Have to really turn in here. He's going to defend it well, so fair play, fair play, fair play. I wonder if we're going to get a penalty for that, chat. Someone's coming well up the inside here. Woo! Well, that was all a bit mad. They're going side by side ahead. This, this race is completely broken open. We've got wind behind us. There's two drivers there. And we're staring down the top uh, five here. Don't think we're going to get a um, boost. Might turn into a two for one deal, let's see. Wind, I think, with perhaps the fastest time in the world here on his main account. Penalties, but oh, only one penalty behind us. So see how much so this is a luxury i think he might be number one in the world when you race in these top splits you get to race against the drivers that have spent hours and hours and hours and days time trialing and finding out all the little bits and bobs so we're very lucky that we can kind of follow them and, and see what they're doing very lucky for that right couple of lifts is going to make me vulnerable to uh, F1 Slayers, boost to say. Had to break there because um, didn't want to hit wind. It's all a bit chaotic behind us as well. Great race. Great race. I mean, I, have to, I do have to say that I remember I did a stream once with um, my Irish teammates and I was saying, look, we are so lucky in GT Sport, just the quality of the top split lobbies. Who knows what it's going to be like in GT7. Like, this feels like it's back, got to be honest. And it just kind of, it just kind of raises everyone's game. And I think this guy behind had a penalty, so he's already made that up so he's definitely on the move so if he wants to go for it I'm not going to fight it to 
slot in here. Because I wonder, with six and a half seconds off the lead, whether this train is going to condense up. I do wonder. I do wonder. It's an exciting race, though, for sure. We'll bump this guy. Try not to um, accidentally punt him into this corner. We all went purple there, I suspect. For both of us. 6.1 to the leader, keeping on that gap. Oh, we didn't get that right, but um, Matt has um, just run a little bit wise, so he's going to keep us in contention. Need to have a good Ascari, though. Just, yeah, a little bit less pressure through there. If I make a mistake through one of the corners, I'm not overdriving it at the moment, which is nice. 6.4 to Key, he's leading. There we go, three. Impressive to lead this race. It's a difficult race to lead. And our train has caught up with someone. Don't know who it is. P4. Maybe it was a South African guy. We're going to get a really healthy slip here. So Consta's got three F1 slaves. We're still a while behind, but he's a very fast driver. Only three tenths off fast as that there, which I will absolutely take in this lobby. Wow. Where should we turn in? Soaring at the wheel a little bit. It's a very fast corner, though. I think in time trial you can cut so much there, but it's, it's risking the race. Important we don't get cut adrift right now, to be honest. That was deep. Hopefully just get all along a little bit into Ascara, though we quite a big train going on ahead. In fact, they're going to go side by side. Let's concentrate here. Oh, a bit understeery through there. A bit understeery through there. Let's see if anyone's going to go for it, if they're going to work as a train. They might think, let's just ditch me. Well, that didn't look too friendly. We, we lost a huge amount of time there, though, somewhere. So, see, there's a dance going on for the lead. So we're going to lose time here. We kind of need someone to dive it in uh, what is now the first chicane. All just kind of an awkward coming together. But uh, we've got concert coming up behind us, so we can always follow him and try and work with him. There's quite a bit more you can use. Oh, a big moment. Just went a little bit wide there, shame, because I think the Norwegian driver didn't have the best exit. He's getting dropped a little bit from that pack. The pack's kind of filled through him. So I think it's going to be constant coming up next. Hopefully we can follow him into that train. Oh, I really struggled through there. Really struggled through there. Don't think he's bringing anyone with him. Someone took a penalty up there, which could fracture a little bit. Oh, he might be bringing slaves with him. So, there is a lot of drivers up there. 
and we're just kind of like in this period now just waiting for either something to happen ahead which can always happen or just for concert to get a bit closer just trying to see if anyone's going to try and go side by side even if accidentally they so, five cars up there wow fairly organised at the moment. Here he comes. And um, obviously in these parts of the race where they're working together is it's an advantage to work together and to be that close to other cars. But as you get closer to the end, it can turn into a real disadvantage as people start to fight. Looks like it might have started to happen already, actually. Yep, it has. My faith in the ghosting god, sir. He was well up there, I think, uh, with the KCR driver. Not sure if he is a official Kirith community racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is. Cons just wait now. I suspect he just will want to breeze past me on this straight. 2.12 the Norwegian driver, so we've actually managed to hold that. Maybe they got all more held up by that instant there. Um, so last three laps in the, in the mid 38s, that's kind of our pace. So here comes Constantin. Not really too bothered about this. This might be our ticket. Took a lot that time, took a lot of that curve. Oh, whoa. Wow. Well, I didn't predict that happening, to be honest. And also didn't want that to happen. Because our ticket has basically got himself sent off. <laughs> That's what's happened. I think there's two drivers behind. Oh no, F1 Slayers might be kind of on his... They said two of them? No, two very close. Well, it looks like they might be working together a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, they've just about got it turned in that time. Obviously, you're trying to break as late as possible and hit the apex. You can't just do one or the other, like, yeah, I'll hit the apex with break really early. Backwards goes Constant. Maybe just at the back of this train, actually. We'll probably come flying back. Yep. So we've got a four-person train here from 6th to 9th. And then we've got a, I think, possibly, key... Mo no. Yeah, it's at three, four, and five ahead of us then. Was Key out on his own? You can't see from the radar. Key might just be out there on his own. Which is pretty incredible if so. Oh, looks like they're fighting. Wonder if we can catch up with this Norwegian driver. Oh, here come the lads. Going for it, but he's going to be. Good move in the end. <laughs> Good move. Right, here we go. Obviously, he was up there, so he's got pace. We know that. Maybe doing a bit of weaving. Not sure why. But he does have pace, to be fair. What's F1 Slayer's going to do? He's going to go for the move. It's all breaking apart here. In, in him there to uh, turn in and for his nose not to be there. It's all pretty marginal. And I've had a huge moment. Will he decide to bump? No, he doesn't want to. So we're playing now. Playing for keeps. Playing for keeps. Do I decide to break that and kind of form a truce here? 
can be worth it. I mean, there are still three laps to go. Let's do it. Let's try and be the big man. Flash to the hazards to acknowledge. Oops, just a lift here costs us so much. So what's Consta going to do? Consta's going to go for it. Difficult move for him, though. If he can, oh, I can slot in there. Can't play. Get a little bit wide. Cut more that curve. Oh, come on, we've got to keep up with these boys. An awkward way around that corner. Very important, there's my T here. It's better. That'll do. Keep us in the mix. So, we're now at the back of this train in P9. Two and a bit laps to go. Do we think we're going to catch that pack ahead or is it just going to fall apart? I don't know. That was a big old moment, and that might be very costly. That might be very costly. Exceedingly costly, let's find out. Well, someone else had a moment. I've had two moments in the same corner. Right, so, hopefully we'll have a bit more momentum left from Slayers, but I'm worried about this Greek guy behind. He's definitely gonna jump us if he wants to. Two laps to go. Shame we just couldn't have any drama there. Some quite slow here, some moving out of the way. I'm not sure what's going on. Right, so here comes the Greek guy there. We'll try and hang it around the outside, but this is risky. <laughs> Exhilarating stuff. We are moving backwards though. <laughs> That can be the nature of Monza, though. A beast. What a beast. Big move for everyone says that they keep the momentum, though. I'm thinking now we just want to get P9. I, I, I don't really see anything else coming down the track to us unless there's big mistakes. never really know how it's going to pan out here, do you? So I suspect we should try and go up the inside here. If... Or do we wait? Okay, I'm happy to wait, actually. I'm happy to wait. Is he trying to give up the slip here? Because <laughs> I want the slip down here. Because I'll be able to breeze past him either which way. So there might be some fun and games with him moving around. It's a long straight. Let's start moving. Start moving. All right, here we go. Motoring now. There we go. High stakes, high stakes. Make sure we turn in. We cleared him. So now we can go defensive. that without penalty. Let's get through Les Mertin and then we can breathe and think about the strategy. Right, where are the chess pieces? So, he was going back a little bit, so he's going to start coming forwards now. If we defend into Ascari, he won't be able to go around the outside of us. Say it's gone very wide there. Might be a spool, and he's gone. Oh, tell you what, we're catching F1 slayers at a rate of knots here. Revved out a little bit too much. It can be tricky for him. Try and get that inside drive. Don't think it's going to work. No, we'll take the P9 though. Honestly, racing at Monza, I just never know what to expect, but what a privilege to race against really fast drivers. It's a very, very strong result from Key, that. 
winning by three and a half seconds. Um, that is impressive. But I'll take a P9 in the split. I mean, look at these names. Big names and um, feel like we competed. So that was good. Hope you enjoyed it. And some more videos around here if you want to watch them. But otherwise, I'll see you next time.